Oh, payable, payable. Oh god, it's our time, it's our time, it's our time, it's our time, it's our time. It is our time. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, it's smoking, it's smoking, it's smoking. Oh yes. This is how we do it, boys. Did I get it? Let's go! We did the glitch! Oh my god! Yo, what is this? We get to play some DLC? We get to play some carnival? Alright, I actually... It's probably been... 9 or... Probably 10, 10... I'm gonna go with 10 years since I've played carnival. So, this might be a huge yikes, especially since I'm trying to snipe. Alright, my best idea is probably not to try to snipe it out on this map. I don't know why, but just yesterday, like last night, randomly sometime, I got hit and I'm like, yo, like, I want to snipe again and I was playing some Modern Warfare 2 on Xbox and going into some free-for-alls and sniping and trick shotting and that was a ton of fun and then I was hopping on here trying to snipe and it's, it's just so hard with mouse and keyboard, man. It's just so hard trying to relearn the game, you know, that you've played for 11 years and it's just so different now. But on the real though, like before we get into the main topic of the video, I should have hit like two triples already. Like, check this out. Come on, not, just, just one of them? Like, couldn't just one of them hit for me? The huge problem with playing this too is like, I, I have no clue where anyone is. Like, I just got shot from up there. Like, I have no I don't remember the hiding spots. I don't remember where people go, I guess, right there. Sure, but... Hey guys, what is going on? King of Mall here, and today we are back, and we're gonna talk about the cold-blooded glitch. Do you guys remember the cold-blooded glitch from Modern Warfare 2, where if you were on a new account or whatever, you didn't have to do any progress. If you shot a payload down, and while it was smoking, you used an RPD and just shot it with basically your whole mag, you'd complete every cold-blooded challenge and probably get between what, like, so it went like one, three, four, like 20,000 XP in the matter of seconds and cold blooded. It's funny because the clip I showed you in the beginning that was from the stream like a week ago because I just bought the regular Modern Warfare 2 on PC before like all the quarantine stuff happened because I love playing IW4X, don't get me wrong, but I also love getting to do like a regular map rotation, a regular game sometimes. You know, it's hard to find these maps on TDM on IW4X. Like a lot of times when I hop on IW4X, like just a terminal server and then like a couple trick shot servers will be populated or like a few games will just have like four or five people in there or it's just gonna be like the nuke tower like it's it's hard always to get into the good servers that have like map rotation so just to do that i wanted to buy the regular game so you know just from buying the regular game and i don't know anyone who like mods on pc or how to get 10th all unlock like level 70 it's basically a road to commander again so you know i'm ranking up and we got whatever level we unlock cold-blooded and we've been grinding for nukes but i'm like you know like i really need cold-blooded pro and i'm like the glitch so i made a class with the initial rocket launcher what is like the at48 something and i put an rpd on and then finally we were near the end of the game and a payload just appeared and i'm like oh my god like this is it this is this is what i've been waiting for like this is exactly what i've been waiting for this is exactly and i don't i forget what he said but this is exactly what i've been waiting for so you know me and my teammate my teammate starts helping me shoot the payload down and I'm like yes like here we go but i'm getting scared because the game's about to end and this guy tries to kill me but let alone almost 11 years later the cold-blooded glitch still works there we go let's get some harriers down here can we nuke a dlc map for the one time oh god i got trapped on the pole you hate to see it. But anyways, a cold blooded glitch, you know, the guy was trying to shoot my, shoot me, kill me, do whatever, and I'm trying to shoot this payload, but let alone the glitch still works, man. Man, I, I still remember the first time I figured out about that glitch and thought, like, how crazy my friend was for telling me, yeah, we just shoot a payload when it's smoking and we automatically get cold blooded pro. Back literally in 2010 on PS3, we started new accounts because we wanted to have a clan, and he's like, uh, yeah, here's how we're going to get cold blooded pro, and I'm like... I'm just like, okay, dude, like, sure. And then we did it, and I'm like, wow. You know, I really do wonder, like, why they never patched that glitch. Because, I mean, like, they gutted everything. They gutted the models, commando, a bunch of stuff. When um, when I made the pre-patch models video, like, a week or so ago, everyone was commenting, like, the comments, all these patch notes and a bunch of stuff, or, like, messaging me on Twitter about a bunch of stuff. I didn't know that was patched in the game over time. Because, I, you know, all this time, I forgot. But the cold-blooded glitch is still there. So why that one still is, I, I don't know. I mean, there's no way they could have put that there on purpose, right? 
I mean, like, I personally don't think think so, but I mean, who knows? It's, I mean, it's a cool little Easter egg, like, no doubt. You know, it's just one of those little things that made this game so much fun and just so cool to play, I feel. Like, this game is just a classic. It definitely has my vote for my favorite Call of Duty of all time. But did you guys do the cold water glitch? Do you remember the cold water glitch? Did I just hit you some, like, with, like, some nostalgia you didn't even know you had type of thing? Let me know in the comment section down below. While, while you're down there, too, make sure you leave a like. But it's crazy, you, you know, the rumors too for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. I, I was thinking about making a separate video, but then I realized like there's 150 videos already uploaded on the same topic. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, campaign only. Modern Warfare... Re Look, I, I got it. Like I searched up like Modern Warfare 2 in the search bar and the first seven pages were all Modern Warfare 2 Remastered campaign only videos. I'm going to be very, very depressed if that is what happens i know people are saying they found it in the game files it's already confirmed you know last that's been the rumor for a few years all the way back to the initial italian amazon listing i think that was in like 2018 but i'm just how are they really gonna only rematch the campaign like my biggest beef with that is i could come on pc max out my settings and play the game in 1440p and it's gonna be in better graphics than your remaster so it's like why would I buy a remaster when I could play it in better quality on my PC and it's going to be like literally the exact same thing? It just makes no sense. Then what? They're going to add some maps to Modern Warfare. So they're going to add the maps, but no guns. So we don't have the intervention, first of all. Like the EBR, the, the Spaz, the Models, the Ranger. I mean, name about every single gun. The UMP. The, I, mean, I mean, everything from Modern Warfare 2, they're just going to like throw the maps and maybe a couple guns in modern warfare and be like yep yeah, here's your mw2 remaster like the game doesn't even feel like modern warfare 2 how could they even do that and then just like their gun leveling system and everything like just no like you can't like if it's gonna be done it it needs to be its own separate download it's the only way also like what about spec ops no one's mentioned spec ops at all on twitter through this whole thing like i mean spec ops was kind of campaign missions in a way i mean it was basically based off the campaign missions but just lets you to do it in multiplayer form with your friends or you know whoever you were playing with so are we gonna at least like if we got a spec ops in the campaign then that's probably the only way i'm buying it so i could play spec ops with my friends cross platform or just whatever so we could redo that because that that would honestly be like the only thing that may, would make it worth it to me but just for a campaign like they're gonna try to be 20 dollars for them just to port it over to the next gen no i gotta say too after not playing carnival for you know 10 years the map's pretty solid like i enjoy it i think it's just cool because of how like unique it is i don't like there's no other map in the franchise like it and oh we got nuked but it's like I don't know how well this map would do in a current game today just because of like how it is i mean i think the layout's cool and it works out pretty well but i just i don't know i feel like it fits perfect how it was as a dlc map and it's a good map i mean i, I enjoy playing it I'd, I'd gladly play it again but we got nuked rip me <laughs> please make sure you leave a like and a comment down below if you're new please sure to subscribe i appreciate it a ton thank you guys so much for the recent support i hope y'all are staying safe and we will see you in the next one Oh man, you